Welcome back to Sportsmen of North America's Living the Dream. In this segment, we're headed out to the rolling hills of Kansas for an early season muzzleloader hunt with SNA giveaway winner Jason McQueen from Ohio. Jason gets to experience firsthand the wide variety of game Kansas has to offer, from deer and turkey to an armadillo waddling by his stand. That's something Jason wouldn't see every day in his home state of Ohio. And oh yeah, let's not forget the giant bucks Kansas has roaming around. We join in with Jason on the fourth night of his adventure. Got into the woods a little late this evening. Um, reason why is is uh, these deer have been moving late because it's been so hot during the day. So it's been 85, 90 degrees. It's early muzzleloader season, and the deer have been moving late. So we got in the stand a little later today than what we had been usual. But uh, last night we seen a real nice buck. Um, walk a ridge line over here behind us and it was too dark to get a shot and what we're hoping is is, is that he's going to come in tonight and get out here in this this food plot and you know do a little nibbling and then we can put smack down on him here comes some deer I'll come out here and eat this buck four jokes that we got planted out here that Miles does As the deer start filtering into the field, Jason is tempted by a group of younger bucks, but none are what he's looking for. In the early season, bucks are still in their bachelor groups, so they're often seen in the fields feeding together. But soon enough, they'll be squaring off to determine who's the dominant buck in the area. Jason keeps seeing the vision of the one that got away the evening before, and he's hoping for another chance. Kansas is known for producing some awesome bucks, so Jason is alert and at the top of his game just in case he gets a crack at one of the giants this week. As darkness falls, Jason catches a big buck entering the field from the far end. Jason's heart rate starts to run in high gear as he awaits and hopes the big buck will move into range before it gets too dark to shoot. As the big buck moves into range, camera light is fading fast. It's almost too dark to film, but since Jason is an SNA giveaway winner, his cameraman will not call him off the shot. This is a trophy of a lifetime. So the camera rolls as he prepares to take his shot at the monster buck. Great shot, Jason. Deer blowing. Yeah, the blowing over there. Oh, man. <laughs> All right. Give me five. Give me, some, Give me five. Give me five. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's it. Oh, yeah, man. I got him. Last night we come in here. Been hunting a stand all week. I've uh, seen some good deer, but late last night I got shot at a deer. Good deer. I'm not for sure how big he is. I just, I know he's got real good spread on him. 
and a lot of tines. So uh, we shot him last night, come back out, uh, found some blood. Wasn't real sure about what was, you know, if he was hit good or not, so we backed off of him, let him lay overnight. Um, come back in this morning and we're gonna go try to find him. So, you know, good Lord willing, we walk up here and find this deer, but not for sure right now, so that's where I'm at. I know he went up through here. Yep, dude. It's been a long week. Early muzzle loader here in Kansas. Oh, there he is. Right there he is, guys. Right there. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. What a deer. What a Kansas deer. Look at this, guys. Holy cow. Oh, man. Wow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Thirteen points. Wow, man. Look at this G2 on his right side, how it's paddled out. Unbelievable. I wasn't for sure if we'd find this buck or not. Hi, folks. My name is Jason McQueen. I'm from a little town called West Alexandria, Ohio. And uh, I want to hunt through Sportsman's North America which is called sportsmanna.com on the, on the internet. That's how I won the hunt. I won the hunt with Keith Powell. Uh, I won the hunt on August 13th. Um, what happened there was, is there's a little story behind that. I had a camera school and that's how I met Keith. And at five o'clock on Sunday, I had signed up on his website. And then at 10 o'clock at night, he has his drawing. Five hours later, him and a good friend of mine, Mike McCabe, calls me on the phone at the house and says, Mike says, congratulations, Jason, you just, you're going to Kansas. And I didn't believe Mike. I was like, whatever, man, you know, cause I, I never thought it was possible for me to win a hunt like this in Kansas. And next thing I know, Keith's on the phone, he says, congratulations, you're going early muzzleloader hunting in, in Kansas. And I was, I was just so pumped, so jacked, I couldn't believe it. I mean, just getting here to hunt, whitetail was, you know, it was just unbelievable. Killing something like this is just a bonus. And right now I want to introduce the man that, that made this happen, Keith Powell. Congratulations. Thanks, Keith. That's an awesome deer. Oh man, I cannot believe it. Wow, you know, we got this deer earlier in the year on, uh, Miles got him on a, uh, the trail cameras. And uh, we was hoping he's gonna stay around. This is a uh, this is a dandy. He's got a lot of characters. He's got tickers on his G2s. He's got a <clears throat> non-typical point here in between here in between his G2 and his G3 on this side, and he's got points coming off. That's a, that's a dandy muzzleload. Just gnarly looking rack. That's awesome. Well, this is what you come to Kansas for, he's giant, giant whitetail like this. Yeah, well, last night, you know, uh, we got this deer on, on the video a little bit, wasn't for sure if, if, if we could see him on the video, and I tucked the shot, and wasn't, you know, me and Adam, we weren't for sure if, if I'd got the deer, and we come back to camp, and. All of us went out there and looked and found some blood and, and we did the right thing by backing off the deer and coming back today. And, and from where we stopped at in that creek, he wasn't 50 yards laying up in a bedding area. He just yeah. went up there and laid down. So, you know, we did the right thing there. That's right. It's always better to back out if you're not for sure and come back and not pressure the animal. So, well, it looks like we did the right thing here. I'm well, telling Jason, you. congratulations. That's awesome. Yep. Sportsmanna.com. Way to go right here.